Daniel and Alex have a rare, life-limiting illness. There is no effective treatment and no cure. This is their family's story. Alex was born almost a week early. As soon as they put him on me, I just knew that there was something wrong. He just didn't feel right. One of the things I noticed was his spine. When I held him as a baby, he didn't fit in my arms. He wasn't developing. At six months old, he couldn't even sit up properly. He just, he just wasn't right. And everything to me as a mum was pointing out that there was something wrong. Victoria did not get any answers about what was wrong with her son, Alex. And two years later, she went on to have another son, Daniel. I had Daniel on my due date. The following day, he had heart surgery on a heart condition. The first few surgeries they had, they, they used a mask to sort of send them off to sleep. And it, it, it was horrible, like sort of laying there with one of them in your arms, just being basically knocked out. It's, it's horrible as a parent to sit and watch your child go through that. Following his major heart surgery, Daniel spent four days in intensive care. We spent, you know, the first few years of their, their lives going back every six months with more problems, more feeding issues. The amount of times that they were projectile vomiting across the room, I used to catch it in my hands because it was easier to do that than clear it all up off the floor. Life was a struggle and doctors were unable to identify the cause of Alex and Daniel's illness. In 2008, when Alex was three, Victoria took both boys to see a genetics consultant and finally got a diagnosis of smith lemley opitz syndrome. It was a relief once we got the diagnosis because I knew that after all the battles and all the hospital appointments that I'd been to that actually I was right and there was something wrong. smith lemley opitz syndrome is a disease caused by a problem in the body, in all cells and tissues of the body, to make cholesterol. So cholesterol is an essential molecule uh, for us. The symptoms of uh, smith lemley opitz syndrome include uh, defects in the heart and uh, defects in feeding. At the more severely affected level, they will also present with uh, autism spectrum disorder. And the autism spectrum disorders in particular mean that the children as they go through life uh, are going to have problems at, at school, learning difficulties uh, and such like. At present, Daniel and Alex attend mainstream school with their sister, but it's not without its problems. At school they behave a lot better than they do at home. It's almost like they've got all this pent-up frustration inside that they keep inside at school and as soon as they come home it comes out with me. We are actually pushing to get them into a special needs school. It's not through the fault of the school, but just that their needs are getting to the point where a mainstream school cannot cope with them. Hopefully by next September they'll both be in a special needs school, which will help them a lot more. Research funded by Action Medical Research is giving hope to Alex and Daniel's family for the first time. Dr Lloyd Evans and his team are developing two drug treatments which could help children like Daniel and Alex. I was really excited when I heard that Action Medical Research were looking at doing some funding for the condition. I feel that it's really important to have research done into unknown conditions to raise awareness for other people that have had to face the same sort of things that I have. With a condition like smith lemley Oppitz, that is so very rare. It can be so lonely as a parent. So I'd like to thank you so very, very much for all your support.